Hello, good day everyone. This is Tefts, welcome back to this channel. We have a Samsung LED TV, a model UN55FH30C. It's not turning on and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you've came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV is not turning on and there is no standby light indicator. So let's test the main fuse. The fuse has no continuity or is been blown. We will not replace the fuse without checking what caused the fuse to blow. So let's take off the power board and find what component caused the fuse to blow. The multimeter is set to continuity mode. A long beep means a possible short circuit.
It seems that this MOSFET is shorted. So let's solder it off and test it out of the circuit. The MOSFET is really shorted. This MOSFET is the PFC output. PFC means power factor correction. A technique used to improve the power factor of electrical systems. A power factor reduces energy loss and improves system efficiency. This TV is 120 volts input but the main capacitor is 450 volts which means we can convert it to 220 volts. Let's test the main capacitor. The capacitor measures 115 microfarads. 5 microfarads lower. The capacitor is still in good condition. Now, let's solder the 220 ohms 20 watts resistor on the terminal of the main fuse. Let's attempt to power the TV without the PFC MOSFET. For those new to this channel, the resistor is used for testing purpose only. It helps prevent sparks or fires when defective components are missed.
We have several voltage outputs, but we will measure only the 12.8 volts. We can measure the voltage to these capacitors terminals. The TV is 120 volts, so we will plug it into 120 volts. We have an output voltage of 12.4 volts. and only 135 volts on the main capacitor because we plug it into 120 volts. In 135 volts on the main capacitor the power supply still works. Seems it is working without the PFC MOSFET. As I said it earlier we can convert the TV to 220 volts. We will only remove the MOSFET and remove this VARI store. A VARI store also known as a voltage dependent resistor, VDR, has a limit voltage. A 120 volts power board used a VARI store rated at about 150 volts, so we will remove it or replace it with a VARI store of about 400 volts limit. With power factor correction, PFC, the voltage on the main capacitor is approximately 380 volts DC. If we connect it to 220 volts AC without the PFC MOSFET, the DC voltage on the main capacitor will be around 315 volts, which falls within the acceptable voltage range. Now let's plug it into 220 volts. We have an output of 12.4 volts. and the main capacitor is 305 volts. The power supply is working without the PFC and also working on 220 volts AC. Now let's place back the power board and see if will work. We will not yet remove the resistor because we are still on the testing period. We still have 12.4 volts even though the motherboard is connected. The backlight turns on and immediately turns off because the resistor is still on the main fuse. I believe the power supply is functioning properly now, so we will remove the resistor and replace the main fuse.
The fuse is 5 amperes 250 volts. 4 amperes will work as we convert it now to 220 volts. The TV seems working now. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. Removing the PFC is safe. I have done it many times without any issues. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help the channel with your likes and subscriptions. Ring the notification bell to keep you up to date. Once again this is Teps. See you again next time. Bye for now.